Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mull for Thursday, the 27th of June. As we work our way through Jesus' Sermon on the Mount in Matthew's Gospel, following McShane's readings, we read the final chapter, chapter 7. And Jesus has been talking about prayer and asking God and saying to us, encouraging us, seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. Ask and it will be given to you. And the encouragement is to keep on seeking, asking, knocking. And then in verse 9 of chapter 7, Jesus says, Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake? If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? And as I read that, I thought, what, what a wonderful encouragement to come to God with our needs and to ask him uh, to supply, knowing that he will give good gifts. But the challenge for us, as I, as I was pondering this, I thought the challenge for us is that we don't always see things the way God sees things. We will ask God for certain things, and when we don't get exactly what we've asked for, we think God hasn't answered us. Or when he gives us something else, we sometimes think, this can't be a good gift. God has given uh, us praying for healing, and my suffering continues. God hasn't answered. This can't be good. But that's from my perspective. From the way I see things, it doesn't look like it's good. But does that mean that it's impossible, from God's perspective, for my situation to be for my ultimate and eternal good? And suddenly, as we start thinking those kind of thoughts, what is good takes on <laughs> a new perspective, and it shapes our prayers as well. And there's a, a, a prayer in the, the Anglican prayer book where we say, answer our prayers as may be best for us. So, so, Lord, give us the good things that you've promised, but don't necessarily give what I've asked for. I've brought you my perceived needs, the way I see things, what I think should happen, what, what I register sort of from my perspective. But God, give me what is best for me. Give me the good gifts that you've promised. And help me, Lord, to see the goodness. Lord, sh reshape my mind, reshape my thinking. Help me to see through your eyes that I may know that you have heard, you have answered, and what you've given is the, a good gift, even if at the moment I cannot see it, even if it makes no sense to me at the moment, even if I struggle to comprehend how it could be a good gift from you. Help me to trust that you do hear, you do answer, and what you give us is good. So wrestle with that and know that God is always true to his word and hang on to his word, for it is gracious. Be blessed.